guys, so today I'm gonna film something super fun and different. Um, so Al and I went to our Asian supermarket, TNT, and picked up this very different and unique Kit Kat that we've never seen before. Ta-da! This is what it looks like. It is the Sweet Potato Kit Kat. And what's so different about this is you can actually put it in the oven and bake it and it turns into this golden brown color. So I thought I might as well vlog and film this for you guys so you guys can see what the process is like as well. So we picked this guy up for, I think it was four or five dollars for this entire pack. It comes with 13 individually for a packet. And this is what the back looks like, super cute. Can't really read it because it's all in Japanese, but it looks like it says here, you're supposed to put it on a baking sheet with um, either foil or parchment paper. You're not supposed to put it directly on the rack or anything. And it doesn't tell you how long or how, much heat or and maybe it does but I can't really read it but I just read online that you're supposed to put it in for two to two and a half minutes and it comes out to this nice golden brown color I'm so excited so this is what the packets look like so individually wrap look how adorable that is so so different from our regular you know Kit Kats here so let's do this okay I'm gonna turn on the little oven here first I'm gonna put it on 350 so kind of medium heat just to play it safe because it is chocolate so I'm not too sure how well that's gonna go and I have my little baking thing here baking sheet and a little parchment paper and let's bring it over here and let's unwrap this right so this is what it looks like inside here it has this beautiful kind of golden yellow color so just looks like a regular mini Kit Kat place it on there and then I'm gonna take you guys to the oven. See you in a little bit, Kit Kat. Get nice and golden brown. Ooh, after like 10 seconds, the chocolate's melting already. A minute after, you can start to see that golden brown crust on the edges of the Kit Kat. So this is three minutes after already. So it's not two or two and a half minutes. It's three minutes. It's getting kind of crusty on the edges, not on top. So I'm gonna switch the oven to broil and let's get some color on the top of the Kit Kat. All right guys, so this is about three and a half minutes and this is what it turned out to look like. Not so pretty like the packaging, but it does smell really good. It smells like, it smells like, um, do you guys know when you order bubble tea and you put pudding in your drink, like pudding milk tea? That's what exactly what it smells like right now. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna do a little taste test. But it did get a little bit uh, of golden brown color once I turned it to broil, but the outside kind of looks burnt. So we'll see how it tastes. So before this Kit Kat completely cools down, I'm gonna actually take a fork and um, just kind of wiggle it out a little bit so it doesn't get so stuck onto the parchment paper here. There you go. And then just let it cool down. All right, time to taste test right here. So the Kit Kat actually kind of fell apart. So I'm gonna taste the Kit Kat first. It's very, of course, crunchy because of the wafer. Mm. I still get that custardy, or um, not custard, pudding taste in my mouth, but it's not super strong or anything. It smells stronger than it tastes. So there you go. It's not bad. I'm not my favorite. I'm not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's definitely, I think this would definitely go well with um, a cup of tea or something, but let me just taste just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna taste the outside, even though it looks kind of burnt. Let's just try it. The outside kind of tastes like um, burnt like creme brulee on top. You know the sugar that the creme brulee when you like um, put um, fire to it or heat to it? Kind of tastes like that. It's kind of like a sugary, tastes sugary, like a burnt kind of sugar. But the Kit Kat portion, it's all right. So since I tried the sweet potato Kit Kat baked, I'm gonna try it without um, baking it. Just the raw form here. It's 
still have a nice, you know, coated chocolate flavor, nice crispy wafer inside. Mm. And this has, you know how I said it smells like a strong pudding flavor? When you taste it without being baked, that pudding flavor is definitely there. Very yummy. Especially, sorry guys, a recycling truck is driving by. But if you guys really like bubble tea pudding or bubble tea pudding milk tea flavor, this definitely tastes like that. I'm not too sure if um, Japanese sweet potato tastes like this, but this is what it reminds me of. But I definitely prefer it not baked. I'm not too sure if I even baked it correctly or not because there wasn't clear instructions, but the way I baked it, um, I do not like it baked. I would prefer eating it just out of the package like this, nice and simple and the flavor is much stronger when you don't bake it in my opinion. So I hope you guys had fun trying out the sweet potato Kit Kat with me. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys tried this Kit Kat before or if you've seen it in your grocery store before. I would love to know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys had fun and I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers!